All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is throw in the cabinets. Uh, probably not too detailed. We probably won't do the doors or anything like that, but just get the cabinets in here, maybe the countertop. And uh, that way we have a little bit of a uh, head start when it comes to modeling the kitchen. Okay, so what we're going to do first is go to our layer manager, and we're going to, uh, with nothing selected, create a new layer and call it cabinets. All right, it's going to be selected. We're going to unhide our CAD file really quick, too. So what we have here are these red lines. This indicates the cabinets. Um, this middle line represents the upper cabinet. So this is about a foot from the wall. This is about two feet total. So let's do it. We're going to turn snaps on, 3D snaps. We're going to get a box. And we are going to just put a box in there like so. We're going to make it about 36 inches, and that's good, just like that. Let's name it C underscore uh, lower underscore 01. Good. Now I'll get the Move tool out and select this little edge down here, right? And shift drag one over here. Now we have 02. Now what I want to do is right click and convert this to an editable poly. Go to my top view and select all of these. Go to 2.5 snaps and snap this into place right here at the red part. Okay? Right here by the stove. So we have something that looks like that. It's a very small kitchen, trust me. I have to eat out here. I have to eat on this rotating blades thing. Um, cause that's all I have is my, my house is a yellow line and it says living room on the floor too. So I know where I'm at. Okay. So, um, we are, uh, back in the kitchen and I'm going to take this, turn off snaps for a second and, uh, shift drag a copy up just like that. And we're going to name it upper, upper 01. And uh, we're going to make this about 30 inches. And if you want to know how I got this, it's because I measured it all beforehand. Got a tape measure out. Um, if you don't believe me, you hear that? That's a tape measure. I keep it on my uh, desk. Yeah, I know. Weird. All right, so I'm going to go to tape measure here. There's about an 18-inch gap between the lower cabinet and the upper cabinet. So I'm just going to pull out something here. Let's see, 16. Let's go up to about 18, like that. I'll select the upper cabinet and just bring it up a little more and then delete that. Okay, good. So now I'm going to make this an editable poly. Go back to my top view. Select these vertices. It snaps back on, which should be on 2.5 still. And take these vertices and snap them to this red line right there. And now we have that. Just what we need. Good. Now back into our top view, I'm going to take this edge right here snaps are still on, shift drag a copy to this side. Just like that. And click OK. And now we have that. Now of course we're going to have to cut this up because uh, the stove is right here and we have to cut it up around here like this. And then the refrigerator's got to fit in here so we'll have to cut it there as well. But we'll do that later. I just wanted to get these in here so we can have it. Okay, next up will be the countertop. It's going to be very, very, very easy. Very easy to do. All right, so what I want to do is let's hide our walls really quick. All right. And uh, let's hide our trim as well because we don't need it. And we really don't need much of anything. We don't even need the doors or the windows for that matter. So back on the cabinets layer, go to my front view. And I'm going to go to line, and I'm going to create a. Uh, I'm going to create. I'm going to take snaps off. Well, actually, I'll snap to that, and then I will snap to this. Then I'll turn snaps off, and I'm going to get a little bit of a thing like this. Hold down Shift, Shift, Shift like that. And just create something like this. Get out my tape measure and make sure that this is probably about an inch. Something like that. 
Uh, hit one. And actually, I can just take these right here and just lift them up a little bit, like so. Take this, bring it in a little more. This, I want it a little bit straighter. Okay. And this, a little bit straighter as well. I don't really know the height on this. I think it's like a four inch backsplash. So I'm getting a tape measure and just measure this. And we'll just go up a little more, almost four inches. Select like this, get these vertices and bring them up. Just like that. All right, we're going to select this vertice and we are going to fill it. Not too much, just enough. And then select this and give it just a small at the top so it's not so sharp. And then we're going to take this and uh, let's see what a fill it together will look like. Yeah, that's fine. Let's fuse and can weld this and uh, then just raise it up a little more so it goes a little bit nicer. Just like that. Nobody will see this. As a matter of fact, I can push it in just a little more. And uh, there we go. And it really is this sharp. If you, want, if you don't want it to be that sharp, you can fill it just a little bit. But uh, it really is sharp <laughs> in real life. Mine is, anyway. So, okay, we have that. Let's call this C underscore uh, countertop. And we'll put an 01 under it. All right, good. And I can take these uh, tape measures and delete them. And select this. And let's find it. It's right around here. Let's zoom in on it. Put it in place, about right there. And then we're going to put an extrude modifier on it, like so. And the amount, we're going to go this way, negative. It's about right there. And we can even turn this to an editable poly right now if we want to, which I'm going to. And then I'm going to select all of these. And with three snaps on, I'm going to just snap it right there because that's the edge of the wall. All right, so there's our countertop. It looks nice. And we'll have to um, actually cut a hole out for the sink later. All right, so let's take this. Let's take snaps off for a second. Shift drag a copy out. Hit OK. We're actually going to turn this around 180 degrees. OK. And then what we're going to do is turn snaps back on the move tool out, take the edge here and snap it to there. And then hit one to bring up the vertices and with those selected take this bottom vertice and select it to right there. And there we have it. Unhide the walls and uh, whatever else you want. And uh, there we go. So we'll do the um, we'll do all the uh, doors and everything later but that is it right there so it's starting to come together now in the next vid what we're going to do is start focusing on the um, outlets the electric outlets and uh, light switches so that uh, it gives the scene a little more realism with those uh, little bit of details okay so this is starting to look good and uh, see you in the next vid